So please put your hands together for Philip and Mark. Take a seat. Hi. So, why we are here today? The reason is, if we are talking about competitiveness, innovations of nations, I think always top of mind and top of rankings is Switzerland. And the question is, why these, sorry for that, tiny country? And we will see in a couple of seconds why. And the presentation will be made by Mark. Mark is the CEO of Renier, which is a media house very similar to our German Springer. And he has recently made an amazing transformation with his company. And based on this experience, he started the next endeavor, which is Digital Switzerland. So the question is, why Switzerland and what does it mean, which is even more relevant for a way bigger country like Germany and the European Union? Mark, the floor is yours. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Philip. Um, so if you run a media company, you understand how fast disruption can actually um, harm you, how much speed there needs to be. And um, what I would like to show you in maybe four minutes, and then we start a quick discussion, is what we did in Switzerland. If you have a look at uh, these charts, you will see that Switzerland, this little tiny country, is basically on top of all the indexes, this is the uh, Global Entrepreneurship Index, Index, so it actually measures how strong your entrepreneurship is in your country. The next index you see here is the Global Innovation Index, so this is about innovation in your country. So here again you see Switzerland on top of the list globally. And this, th this is the third one, so this is the Competitiveness Index, so Switzerland is basically on top of all these indexes. So you might think, or you might find, well, everything's fine. Globally, Switzerland is doing okay. But then comes digitization, and digitization can change basically the whole game. So there is a global digital competitiveness index, and here you see that last year Switzerland was uh, only on rank 8. And the belief, and this is why we talk here, is that your companies, be it startups, be it large corporates, are only as good as the whole cluster within you are based is. Um, Switzerland moved up in this index from 8 to 5, which is good. If we compare to Germany, Germany is on rank 19, so a lot to improve. Now, um, <coughs> how did this all start? Because I think it's important to see that um, uh, Philipp Rösler, who has been on the board of the World Economic Forum, um, helped me a lot. So I was asking actually nine CEOs of large uh, corporates if they would join an initiative to make Switzerland a stronger digital place globally. And all nine of them said, yes, I want to, and I will join you. And this was three years ago, and this is where we are now. So by now, already 100 30 uh, leading companies are members of this initiative, Digital Switzerland, with the goal to make Switzerland a leading digital hub in Europe, if not globally. What do we do? And then I'm finished. So we work on all levels. We work on political environment, so that's regulatory frameworks, you know, taxation of companies, how easy is it to start a startup. By the way, how easy is it to close a startup, which is important too. Uh, we do work on education and talent. So uh, my daughter, who is 10 years old, she is still doing the same stuff as I did 45 years ago in school. She's learning exactly the same stuff. There's not much computational thinking in school. So that's what we're working on. Uh, we're working on startup enablement, of course, including funding for startups. We're working on the corporate uh, development. Big companies have to, have to evolve as well, have to face this, these huge challenges of, of digitization, transformation. Um, we work on uh, the society. So we want to have all the parents, mothers, fathers, grandparents, children be in touch with digitization. How does a 3D printer work, for example? So we do a unique thing in Europe, the digital day. 
So it's the second digital day of Switzerland where we reach hundreds of thousands of people. And then, um, uh, as, at last but not least, that's why I'm also here, is we want to promote our country as a great digital hub. So this was the short presentation for Digital Switzerland. Cool, that Thank was you. fast. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, come on. Thank you. That was our time, right? No, um, let's dig deeper. So Switzerland is known for the mountains, for the cows, strong industry, of course, machinery, and so on. How could you push forward the question of digitization, particularly with the, how shall I say, not boring, but very established companies in Switzerland? This is a crucial question, and uh, I think you all know, no matter if you work for the government or if you work for a small company, big company, if there's no urgency, there is no movement. So you need urgency, you need suffering, and there is obviously not really much suffering in Switzerland. You know, people worry if the train is one minute too late. This is kind of a big thing. So in, in, you know, in, a, in, a, in an environment where you have that, um, you need to create an urgency. And I think what we achieved was to bring the large corporates at the table and try to do something together for their country, realizing that it is important if the country is a strong hub for digitization. So we came through the large corporates where we said, let's create a round table and all work on that. Okay, and you could bring together even competitor, strong competitor like UBS and Credit Suisse, both in Switzerland, banking system, and you could engage them in this very initiative, Digital Switzerland. I think that, that is quite unique because when, when, we, when we were founding it, you know, you would exactly see Audi doesn't want to sit at the table with BMW. Um, well, maybe, at the <laughs> maybe that's a bad example. But um, banks wouldn't you know, sit on the table with their competitor, retailers, etc. And we brought them together. And we launched quite a lot of uh, interesting things. Just one, I one, you know, one example. Um, on this platform of Digital Switzerland, we were able to launch uh, Swiss ID. So it's a digital ID with what you can actually access any digital platform uh, in your country. Uh, or you can have correspondence with your governmental services like voting or your driver's license. So use this digital ID, which was already a huge step forward because we had two different kind of um, uh, players who wanted to do that. And we united them and now we have this Swiss ID rolling out. Okay, so that means Digital Switzerland is not a profit shop, it's not a business model, it's really an association of all the many different companies, a very diverse set of companies, and second, you have a very specific purpose in Switzerland, yeah. for Switzerland. Yeah. Um, two, three ideas. So we achieved to uh, uh, I I improve digital, uh, the, to, uh, the regulatory framework, like taxation for startups, Again, how to start a startup, how to close a startup is if it didn't work. Uh, we're working very hard on education. Again, the mindset of teachers that need to you know, include digital skills into their um, schooling plans. Um, we're doing investor summits, uh, bring digitization to the people, as I explained before. So there's a, a kind of a 15 list plan that we are working on. Plus, and I think that's extremely important, to bridge economy with government. Because government on the, other on the other side is kind of, you know, struggling as well. You know, what, what is a, the digital ad agenda for a country? How can we, you know, match the challenges uh, that we're facing? So we're working quite closely together with government in terms of cybersecurity, infrastructure, etc. Okay, so let's check the box. First, you need some kind of urgency. I think we do have some kind of urgency if you see the digital development in Germany, in Europe. Second, let me say in my words, it's a kind of bottom-up process, right? You have not been asked by the government to come together, but you have had the idea by your own, on your own, which is different to Germany, for example, they have now a digital Beirat, which is top-down, and you could bring together all the different stakeholders in this initiative, like certainly the private sector, science, the next generation, the entrepreneurs, the startups, as well as the government. What is your concrete impact 
in addition to the ID, for example. So is there anything what is already adapted in the Swiss government because we are talking about competitiveness of nations, countries? Well, <coughs> Switzerland just, uh, which is a good question because at the end of the day, we're working very hard on how can we measure our impact, you know? I showed you um, the index where we moved up from eight to five in the digital competitiveness index. I think that's kind of a sign. Um, uh, the relation with the government has completely changed. It was kind of, government was here with their regulatory framework and the uh, economy was here, no matter if it was startups, entrepreneurs or bigger companies, and there was no real bridging. Of course, they had background talks, etc. and now, we, we um, implemented a, a, a digital advisory board, kind of out, out of digital Switzerland, an advisory board to the government, and they're working on the hot topics. Again, infrastructure, cybersecurity, regulatory framework, taxation, education, academics, etc. So I think bridging to the government was one of the key factors, and now we're measuring exactly how fast and how concrete we can improve. There are small countries, you have all heard about Estonia, who did a great job in, in most of the criteria, And I think um, Switzerland is probably, besides Estonia, one of the most advanced uh, countries now. So since you have mentioned Estonia and Switzerland and Estonia, both are not super big countries, very tiny, cozy, but tiny. So the question is, is there any learning for way bigger countries such as Germany or even for the European Union? Because the question is, how can we improve the competitiveness? This is this, this is actually why I'm here. Um, I think Switzerland is an interesting showcase and for the companies that are being based in, in, in Switzerland, the banks, insurance companies, telcos, farm, etc. this is good because they're, they have a good environment. Google, by the way, chose uh, Switzerland as their European hub. Zurich is the European hub for Google with, I think, um, more than 6,000 employees uh, today in two years. So the environment is good. But we are between, in between the US and China somehow. And I know lots of discussion uh, is going on also here in Munich about um, you know, how competitive is Europe actually compared to US and, and China. And the bigger vision actually would be that in Germany there, would be, there will be a movement of digital Germany bottom up with all the big corporates coming together and saying let's you know let's use the blueprint of uh, digital switzerland and bring it into germany and then you know as a, as a former vice chancellor then how you know important the role of germany can be for the rest of europe so the goal would be to create kind of a digital europe which is making europe as a digital hub stronger Otherwise, we're going to be quite in trouble between the US and China. That sounds good, yeah. <laughs> As Switzerland, Germany is a federal state, so we all know the beauty of federalism. Uh, my question is, how could you, however, bring together all the different stakeholders and have some impact on the national, on a federal level. And what does that mean even for a bigger country as well as for European Union with 28, maybe 27? Well, you mean how it would start here in Germany? Exactly. How I would do it? I mean, it's always easier said than done, but we did it. Um, bring the 20 or 25 large corporates together. Tell them it's relevant you know, how competitive Germany is in all these different criteria that we were just talking about. Again, education, academics, funding, startup, regulatory framework, etc. Once you have that, I'm sure it will grow as it did with us, you know. I was laughed at when we started with this small group of nine uh, companies. I said, well, you know, so they many... They laughed at us? I was with uh, you. Well, they said, you know, let's see. Today, again, a hundred and... 30 and basically week by week one or two more coming in um, It's just growing like a snowball, you know automatically. I'm sure Germany can do it But somebody has to you know kick it off and then I think if Germany does it um, You will have France doing it. You will have other comp and other countries doing it and then again I think you can create kind of a digital Europe uh, dynamism as we have seen it uh, in the US Okay, and we have some other European countries already who have tried right. to adopt. Yeah. 
We, so, so because we are invested in Poland, for example, there is Digital Poland, which is already here. They have done the setup. I think they're at about 40 members now. They're having also a digital uh, day in, 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 in Poland on October 25th. So whoever is here uh, and is interested to see how this actually feels, this digital day in, 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 in Switzerland, it's October 25th. Um, and it's, again, hundreds of thousands of people and you will laugh because where does it take place? We were, we were thinking, where should it actually take place? You know, not er all, only in the virtual space, in the digital space, but physically. So we thought train stations are a great place to do it because hundreds of thousands of people come together on a normal day. So we're going to do it in the train stations uh, in big cities. And actually there people are interacting with digitization, no matter what it is, it might be data, it might be 3D, it might be virtual reality, it might be robots, it might be drones, whatever it is. So they're actually touching it. So your digital day, 25th October, is a little bit like bits and pretzels, but then everywhere in Switzerland, right. entire Switzerland. Right. That sounds good. So allow me to start the conclusion already means you need some urgency. Let's check the box. Unfortunately, we do have it. In terms of competitiveness between US and China, what about Europe, what about Germany? Second, you need a clear bottom-up process. Third, you need some link to the government in order to have some impact in terms of regulation and so forth, taxation and other stuff. And you need some very concrete actions and events, even not only virtual, but physically, to bind them together. Exactly. Right? And since we are talking about digital in Germany, so you could call it digital Germany. Nice would, sound would be digital Deutschland. It's a little bit funny, both of this. However, I think your call would be to start this, not only to have a copycat in Germany, but to improve the competitiveness in Germany, but as well as in the European Union. Absolutely. If you look at the ranking, you will see that uh, Europe is not very strong, you know, nation by nation, if you count the points together. And again, I think it's a shame that Germany is on that uh, digital global competitiveness index only on rank 19. Um, but I think it's probably the truth. It's probably where they are because um, there is, I think, a thousand criteria how to do the ranking. And if you look through all the criteria, then actually Germany didn't deserve to be ranked better, but we all know how strong and how fast digitization can change things, business models, you know, um, user, user uh, experiences, etc. So the good thing about this is if you start now, you can change and you can make an impact quite fast and quite hard. Cool. 30 seconds. So what is the clue? First, Switzerland has Mark Walder, Digital Switzerland. Germany needs some similar guy, or even better, woman, who will start Digital Deutschland, Digital Germany, whatever. And what would be the first job to do? Uh, first job to do, I, I, I would go and bring together 20 big companies. Uh, it's not about the big companies, but let's start with the shoulder on shoulder big companies where they say, okay, we signed something, we're going to be part of this initiative to be take care of the startups, regulatory framework, uh, infrastructure, education, uh, science, etc., and, and just start it. And maybe the goal, because this is a great conference here, maybe the goal would be to have 20 founding members of Digital Germany here next year. Cool. Bottom up, so it's on you. Mission accepted, and as a good Swiss, just in time. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.